Hey everybody, it's Pete, and we're back with more Silent Hill 2. Oh my gosh, I just realized that I have a friend in here that needs... needs a little TLC. It wouldn't be right if he wasn't on in the background. All right, we're picking up right where we left off. Um, we now have the button for the elevator to go to floor negative one. I don't know what that means. I'm sure nothing good. Um, and through all of this, has anybody noticed that we just kind of ditched Maria. Like, she's wherever she is. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Everyone, oh, I remember this in. from the original. <laughs> Welcome to another exciting edition of Trick or Treat. Oh, man. Where you answer our questions correctly and win a prize beyond your wildest dreams. Or you fail to answer correctly and receive the punishment. It's all in the hands of our lucky contestant, James Sunderland. James, are you ready to play trick or treat? Excellent. Excellent. Here's your first question. In the early 1800s, a terrible disease spread across Silent Hill, resulting in the death of many of its inhabitants. Their bodies thrown into the lake to sleep forever in their watery grave. How many souls were lost during the plague? One, forty-two, two, sixty-seven, three, eighty-five. Know the answer? Well, you better hold on to it. You never know when it might come in handy. Now, on to the second question. Follow Sanders Street heading east and further on to the outskirts of town. One and only one road will take you towards the lumber yard and the cemetery. What is the name of that road? One, Bachman Road. Two, Munson Street. Three, Wiltsey Road. Did you get that? I sure as hell hope so. And for a third and final question, Silent Hill witnessed a gruesome murder a few years back. A brother and sister were playing in the road when they were attacked and chopped in the pieces with an axe. Oh, was that Walter Sullivan? Flesh, smashed bones, splattered blood. What a terrible tragedy. What a gruesome end to such innocent lives. The voice is very the reminiscent of the voice in P.T. But... What was the name of the other victim? Billy's sister. One, Miriam. Two, Heather. Three, Julia. Well, that's the last of our questions. Have you got it all figured out? If so, fantastic. The time will soon come to collect your prizes. Uh -huh. But be careful. If you're wrong, well, looks like that's all the time we have for today, folks. Thanks for tuning in. See you somewhere, sometime, in sickness. <laughs> this is for all you folks out there in Radio Land. That's literally what the voice sounds like. What the that's hell is that? Squishies, splooshy, splorshies. Ah. 
Ah, come on. Ah, come on. This is irritating. Well, I guess you died. Great. Thanks for wasting all my ammo. Do I turn this on? No. Do I find things I need? No. Oh. I where I'm holding the controller, the microphone is literally in the way of me seeing what my status is. So I if I'm not paying attention, I really don't know. Oh, man, I am like just wasting ammo left and right. That is not great. That is not great. Okay, so that's the other side of where it was. Oh, come on. be struggling with these guys. I think it's because it's late and I'm tired. I guess that puts me more into James's mindset, right? Like, just it's late and he's tired and just have one after the other of these abominations from hell being thrown at you. I love it. I love it, I love it, I want some more of it. And I don't know about you all, um, but personally, I was, I was, this is the one of the announcements that I was the least hyped for, and it's like, oh, well, superseding all my expectations, right? The one I was most hyped for was Silent Hill F, and then behind that, Townfall. Those two, I have a feeling, are going to be phenomenal. So I feel like F is going to be another game similar to this, where it's third person, very Silent Hill, obviously, in Japan. It's got its own themes, its own other world, its own this, that, and the other. And that's great. I'm looking forward to that. I can't, I can't wait. I'm hoping Townfall is the first person Silent Hill. Because I feel like we do need a Silent Hill game done in first person. And I'm just, I'm hoping that that's what it is. Obviously, we don't know. Nobody knows what these games are beyond the, the cryptic little trailers that they gave us. But I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. And I'm looking forward to seeing what they do with those. And very excited to see uh, the other teams taking. I also heard that in, in, there's a... There's an interior team, inter interior. There's an internal team at Konami working on another Silent Hill game, which is really cool. I'm I'm very excited to hear about that as well. Floor negative one, which is the basement, right? Door 
those clothes. We're gonna go here. And I just have this feeling they're gonna throw like another boss fight or some nonsense at me, and I'm super low on ammo. I've got plenty of health items, that's great. But I am super low on ammo. Okay, let me look over here first. Nothing. Okay, so we need to go. Ooh, yeah, let's go explore a little bit before we jump that way, because that way could end up being death on so many levels. Oh, of course. Exit. I don't want to exit. I can't exit. <laughs> okay, so there's only one way to go. Man, the darkness is just so good. Ugh. Love it. Oh. What is that? Oh, well, hi. Mary. What are you? Oh, oh, whoops. Maria, I <laughs> Slip thought... Slip of the tongue there, whoop. Sorry. Anyway, I'm glad you're alive. <gasps> anyway? What do you mean, anyway? I was almost killed back there. I have never been so scared in my whole life. All you care about is that dead wife of yours. <sighs> you couldn't care less about me, could you? No, I just... Then stay with me. Don't leave me alone again. You're supposed to take care of me. Oh man, this town really I... knows how to mess with you. So what about Laura? You found her? No luck with Laura. Yeah, but she ran away. What? Well, we have to find her. Yeah, you, uh... You go do that. <laughs> you really seem to care about that girl. Do you know her? I... I'd never met her before. I just feel sorry for her. She's all alone and... For some reason, I feel like it's up to me to protect her. Because you are Mary, resurrected Come on. in Let's go the shape her. that James wanted her in. And oh my gosh, that is so messed up. Right, so let's go to the exit. Yep, it's open now. Of course it is. Of course it is. This hospital is falling apart. There is not much left of this hospital. As the matter of fact, this hospital is very, very ugly. So ugly, in fact, that it is a work of art. Oh, look at you. You went that way. Are you trying to tell me something? What the hell is that? Well, what do you know? A stroll in the rain. Oh my gosh, she is such a flirt. What are you talking about? I'm trying to keep things light, James. Just you and me, okay? Yeah. Sorry. Oh, it's a pool. The pool is a hole to hell. <laughs> oh, I love it. Yes. Straight into the bowels. Of HE double hockey stick. Yep. Okay, so it looks like all the creepy crawlies are cleared out. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Ugh. Man. 
Is that what I think it is? Yeah. Sure. I swear, this game, visually, n for people like myself, who are long-time Silent Hill fans, we've always dreamt, let our imagination run wild. What is going on? This game grabs you by the feels and then proceeds to punch you in the feels over and 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 over again. And I love it. Really, Captain Captain Wussy Having Man? Trouble there? Yeah. You think you could give me a hand? Me? You're supposed to be the big man around here. How's a little girl like me supposed to help? Now you want to play gender roles? Come on. Fine. One, two, three. <laughs> Oh, it smells like weak old fart. Yeah. Mm. Hmm. What's this? Not very cute, is it? Here, why don't you take it? Thanks. Okay. So, where to now? I don't know. Come on. I think I know where those rings belong. Oh, you do? Oh, you do, do you? Well, I feel like the creepy crawlies are going to jump us now. Because that seems to be what happens whenever you find something new. It's like, oh, look at this new thing. Smack, smack, smack. It's a wonderful thing. Oh, Kali Dokali. Oh, pff, well, no, we didn't help that way, are we? Back down to the basement. Go to the elevator. If we can, if we can get to the elevator, I don't even know if we can. Uh, yep, yeah, cracking the wall, of course. Cause why not? Oh, you son of a monkey's uncle. Okay. Not the way to the elevator. Apologies, Mary. I mean, Maria. I mean. Of course, you're broken. Bruh. Bruh. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Don't copyright me, please, 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 please. I'm just humming. I'm humming notes. They could be any notes. Donde esta the elevator? Donde esta the elevator? Where is the elevator? Oh, you suck. Where is the elevator? Oh, the elevator's exactly where I can't reach it. Are you serious with that? How am I supposed to freaking get to that? You literally cut me off of that. How am I supposed? How the? F how am I supposed to? What? The ah! This is annoying. How? How am I supposed to get there? Dude, I really don't know. He said, "Come on, follow me. I know the way." 
You're an idiot, James. Yeah, that's locked. What'd you think, dude? It's also locked. Come on, big pimpin', figure it out. Nothing to break in here. Get out the way. Please get out of my way, oh figment of my imagination. Yeah, okay, so this room is not great. Oh, look at you. What can I do with you? Cool. Oh, look, story time, kids. The patients will become the diagnosis scheduled for them when they'll make recovery as my aim is always for the entire personnel, especially when their symptoms will become receding with effective treatment. Whoa, that is a run-on sentence if I've ever seen one. Whoever wrote that is a little cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Yeah. Or maybe they're just Cocoa for Cuckoo Puffs. Did you ever think of that? <gasps> Manuel! Hello, Manuel. Como estas, Manuel? Good to see you, my friend. We love Manuel up here. Manuel is great. Um, Manuel always comes through, you know? Ah! Hey! Well, that sounds awful. Let's go to two. Isn't that where the director's office was? And the box with the locks on it and the stuff with the things and the place with the people. Oh, let me check my nails. Girl, don't be checking your nails. Ain't nobody want you to check your nails right now. Alright, look at that. I think what we've made it. Is that? It's it's a door. She said, Ain't no no one knows. I can see the lady of the door. They cannot walk along her bridge of thread. They fall from the weight of their crimes. Lead. Like blood, ugly corpses are sending two hours in them since there's a light saying she's an angel. Um. James? What's wrong? Let's just get out of here, okay? Yeah, what is wrong? I wanted to get out of here. I know. It's just... Something doesn't feel right. None of this feels Come right. On. It's gonna be fine. Nah, son. It most certainly is not gonna be fine, homie. <laughs> Oh, yeah, let's go. Oh, look, more story time. It is done. Oh, great. And it, it it's, it's on this note. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Manuel, ¿qué pasó, mi amigo? ¿Qué me dices, Manuel? Te acabamos de visitar, pero te vamos a visitar otra vez. Eso, mero. I've been playing this game for 12 hours, good lord, and there's still like 8 hours of game to go. <sighs> Again, just because life, not because I'm not enjoying this. This is amazing. But you know what? Those of you who are not parents, believe me, it's, it's a thing to be exhausted 
all the time, especially with a toddler. <sighs> Toddlers are like, man. Ooh, ooh, that's a wall. Okay, let's go towards the red light. That seems like the likely. Okay. You better hurry, girl. this up let's go 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 love it oh crap oh no 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 I don't even want to look back there an elevator there we go come on hurry Come on, girl. Sometimes there's really not anything you can say. I know as the face of a YouTube channel, I should have something to say at all times. And there's just moments that take your breath away. That was one of them. I don't know what to say. Okay, so, to be blunt, Maria was annoying me, alright? Constantly flirting with James, constantly, like, hypersexualized, like, oh, baby, like, it was annoying, I'm gonna be honest, to me, it was annoying, like, it personally, not in for the story and game, like, I get that, I get the point of what she's trying to do, I get the point of why she's here, I get all that, don't come flame me in the comments, alright, I get it, but, like, personally, like, just that hypersexualized, flirtatious, like, eh. You're here for your wife? Let me touch you. Let me put my head on you. Why don't you love me? Like that just, it just, it gives me the ick. It gives me the ick. Um, but I didn't want her to die. Oh, hey, what's up? Hospital entrance key. Cool. There goes Laura. All right, let's read. Story time. The potential for this illness exists in all people. And under the right circumstances, any man or woman would be driven, like him, to the other side. The other side, perhaps, may not be the best way to phrase it. 
After all, there is no wall between here and there. It lies on the borders where reality and unreality intersect. It's a place both close and distant. Some say it isn't even an illness. I, I can't agree with them. I'm a doctor, not a philosopher, or even a psychiatrist, unlike the director. But sometimes I have to ask myself this question. It's true that to us, his imaginings are nothing but the inventions of a busy mind. But to him, there simply is no other reality. Furthermore, he's happy there. So why, I ask myself, why in the name of healing him must we drag him painfully into the world of our own reality? Hmm. That is a really, really solid question. Manuel, te veo al ratito. I'll see, you. I'll see you soon, my friend. But now, it is time for me to go. It's time for me to leave this place. Yeah, it's time for me to leave this place. It's time to go. It's time to go. Time to move on. I think we've spent enough time in Brookhaven. And I think it's time to go back out onto the streets of Sun. Oh my god, it's beautiful! Oh my god! Look at that! Yes, I'm walking around and I'm looking. Sue me. Oh yeah? What's up, buddy? See, this is the stuff. This is, okay, back in 1999 when Silent Hill first came out. And there were those scenes after the mall and you fight the worm or before it turns into the moth. And you had to run along the streets and it was literally... I mean, it literally, like, it looked like this, except on the Expecting that. Oh, I don't have any great. But this is what it reminds me of. Running along stuff like this next to the void, literal blackness. Why don't y'all chase me over here? A little further. Oh, they did it. And I mean, maybe this is just a small space in the grand scheme of the game, but man, they did it. The darkness, this, this just, oh man, this takes me back. This takes me back 25 years, sitting alone in my room on a tiny little CRT computer monitor that had speakers in it. But it was a CRT computer monitor. It was from a desktop computer. I can't even tell you the brand. I couldn't even tell you what it was. But it had the AV connections and I had my PlayStation 1 hooked up to it. And I was alone in my room. And of course my folks at the time were like, well, you know, you can't stay up late playing. So it was maybe eight o'clock, nine o'clock at night. So beautiful. And I remember just running through the darkness. Oh my god. Y'all are killing me. This is just. And it's not even that there's an enemy, it's just that it's all beautiful. It's so gorgeous. Please go down.
Come here, you. I'm gonna squish you. Oh boy. UPS truck got jacked up. But yeah, this was Silent Hill. I mean, this is obviously, you know, 4K graphics, modern, blah, blah, blah. But the thing, the thing that I have to really get across here is that in 1999, playing in my room alone on that color CRT computer monitor with speakers inside, my imagination took hold. And this is what I saw when I was playing. Now, 25 years later, I'm playing it for real. Like, it's literally like my nightmares have, my nightmares, my imagination have come to life. The first time I played Silent Hill 2, the original, I didn't get that feeling. Now I'm getting that feeling. Oh, the music is so good. The music is so good. Ah. <sighs> I know that it's Akita. It really is. It's Akita's thing, right? But Araki did an amazing job, my friend. He did an amazing job with the exploration music and just, yeah. Because he's, he's the additional composer. He's like the secondary composer, whatever they call it, assistant composer. Uh, filler music, stuff like that. And, you know, the credit is usually aimed towards Akita, and that's not wrong. Like, I get it, you know, I mean, he, it's, it's, it's his thing, it's his baby. But at the same time, honor the work of those who've done the work. And as a fellow composer, um, way to go. All right, love your music. Uh, love your work, dude. Ah, you sucker. Yeah, I saw you. This is the aesthetic right here. So I'm gonna take a screenshot real quick because I need to take reference screenshots for later things. Oh my god. Alright. You think I don't see you? Going, buddy. Sploosh. <laughs> yes, thank you. I needed some ammo. ASAP. Okay, let's reload that. Let's put the one for our two shells in. For those of you who struggle with scary games, I find that deep breaths, slow exhales seem to help calm the fear response. There's nothing you can do about being startled. That is a natural response as a human being. But you can bring it down from that startle point very quickly with deep breaths. Ugh. What? 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 Oh, 
Oh, crap. Yeah, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, those nurses are tough. And yeah, it is possible to, like, use the pistol if you can nail the same spot on their legs twice in a row. Then you can bring them down quick. But, legit, it ain't easy to do that. One more. Just because I don't have enough screenshots. This game needs a photo mode like yesterday. No good. What happened there? Oh, that's not freaking disturbing. At all. I'm thinking of like a certain specific a YouTuber who doesn't like mannequins all so much. Gets freaked out by them. Uh, problem. I don't care. Mannequins don't freak me out that much. Manuel, I'm going to save you. A lot of ammo. Oh, you seriously got back up? Got back up. Stay down. For the love of all that's holy, stay down. Let me just check up here real quick. Something I can grab. Got some ammo. Let's go hop the fence. Oh, I'm not dealing with you. No, thank you. I that's actually a really smart way of making it look really good. Is just go to kind of a different camera angle for a second. Why are they wandering the street? Hey, Lakeside Diner. Okay. It's the Oh Dear Di Oh, wait, no, wrong game. Ladies, I would love to stick around, but just not everywhere. Huh? Crap, dude. I 
don't want to deal with you. Oh my god. guys I can do this. Okay, that was my ah, come on. Oh. Oh, come on. I got far enough away from that. Not a bit at least. Why don't you go down? Man, there was a lot going on right there. There was a lot going on. I'm assuming there's nothing in here. Yeah, there's nothing in there. I'm not Still in here. There's still someone outside, but that's cool. We don't need to. We don't need to bother with them. We don't need to mess with things that are absolutely fine being left alone. Can't go to the back. Okay. Okay. And out the diner we go. Oh yeah, let's get it. Oh, this is great. This is fantastic. Man, there's, there's... So in the original Silent Hill 2, you could literally run by like 80% of the enemies or more. I mean, it felt like you just never really had to fight. It was only there if you wanted it to. This one feels like you really... Like you have to. Yeah, nice try, dude. Not today. Not today, Satan. I like that they progressively get more bloody the more you smack them. Oh my god. You again? They're literally like drip feeding me the dang shotgun shells right now. Can I just get like a cache of like maybe 20 or 30 of them? That would be super. I'd be very grateful for that right now. You got anything for me? Oh, you do have something for me. Awesome. Break the rest of your windows. Just goes. Ah, yes. Back to the exploration of my nightmares. Lock that one off. There's anything in there. This one's not blocked off. And we got a health item. Cool. Appreciate the health item. Show vitamin water. Of nothing. Bunch of nothing. Um, well, anything in your car? No. I really wish there was. But 
I'm just going to be a vandal and smash out all your windows. Oh, I can't smash out the front one. Oh, I probably can somehow, but I like to shoot it out. But <laughs> I wasted my bullets on that. No, thank you. I'm good. Thank you very much. Very, very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Anything in here? Narp. Anything up here? Oh, yeah. Hey, we, there we go. Thank you. Oh. oh, good. We're starting to have a little stockpile again, which is good. Man, it's still with the, the PlayStation controller, just... I, I'm very partial to the ergonomics of the Xbox controller. I'm very partial to that. But, that being said, this controller, the, the PS5 controller, DualShock, DualSense, whatever you call it, it truly is revolutionary with the haptics. Um, I remember when I first got my PS5 and I played, uh, what was it, Astrobot? The first Astrobot, not the one that just came out. And, like, all the little gimmicks that they had using the haptics and, you know, the, the reactive triggers and all that stuff. It was just really fun. Like, it was just so cool. Uh, it, it, it really, when they say it's more immersive, they are not kidding you. Alright, well, this has been just a big, big, big walk down creepy lane, and I love it. I'm here for it. Laura, please, wait! Oh my god. Give it up, James. She don't want to talk to you. <laughs> Like, legit, she does not want to talk to you, dude. There. But here we go. Oh, yeah. Are you going to throw a random sewers level at me just to... I don't like this. Just, that made me very uncomfortable. In a very good way. Oh, the rain stopped. Oh! Laura! <laughs> Would you look Where at that? Go? Well. He who is not bold enough to be stared at from across the abyss is not bold enough to stare into it himself. The truth can only be learned by marching forward. Follow the map. There's a letter and a wrench. Okay. Manuelito, what you doing hanging out in an RV, my friend? Okay. I think... I think that that's enough for today. I know I mentioned earlier that I may do like longer two hour episodes, but really hour long feels really good for me. Um, it's kind of the sweet spot of feeling like there's been progress, but also not rushing, not, not, not dumping too much on y'all. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please do all the YouTube stuff, like, comment, subscribe, notification bell. You know what to do. You know what YouTube asks of you in order to support me. I am very grateful. Uh, very, very grateful. And yeah, we're going to continue on with some Silent Hill 2 Remake until we reach the end. Um, 
as I record this, I know this is going to come out on the 16th, but I am recording this on the 12th. And as I record this, I know that there are a little under 10 days remaining until the 25th. And on that day, there won't be any other videos. It will only be um, the six-part series uh, based on one of the games I worked on. Um, I have all I have made it a point to re-download um, Visage, and that will be most likely later this year. Um, possibly December. Not sure. Definitely once I move. Um, but in the meantime, we're going to do Silent Hill 2 Remake. And I believe that we're going to keep the Silent Hill vibe alive. And the next big series we're going to do most likely will be the Dark Picture Anthology's Little Hope. Um, look forward to that one. Because apparently that was a game that was originally pitched as a Silent Hill game by Supermassive. And... You know, on this channel, we love us some super massive games. I love those games so much. I know they're not for everybody, but they're just so cinematic, and it's just it's satisfying. It's like watching TV or watching a movie, and I love movies, so there you have it. Um, but yeah, so Silent Hill 2 Remake still coming. Uh, got a lot more of that. Thanks for watching. You're all awesome. Remember to love one another, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye.